June 6th, new moon in Gemini. We're talking about the 6th portal happening on June the 6th of 2024. This new moon in Gemini brings a lot of gifts, especially when it comes to having fun, being intellectually curious, and also understanding what life has to offer you in all the levels. So if you want to know the five ways on how this new moon affects you, how you can work with it, how you can manifest miracles, keep on watching. Welcome back, this is Tina Wong. I'm super excited about this new moon in Gemini. Well, for many reasons. One is that I have just been to Tibet and back, guys. So there's been a lot that I'm excited to share with you. There's been so many downloads. I've been to Mount Everest, Mount Kailash, and the whole thing. So I'll talk about it maybe in this video, maybe in the next video. But this new moon, it definitely brings you a lot of new changes and new excitement. So hey, if you've been excited for a new change in your life, this is the one I want you to be working with so let's get into the five ways on how this moon affects you we have to first talk about the june the june the 6th which is the 6 6 portal number six is definitely that number of harmony love and balance so if your life has been a little bit mess <laughs> messed up messy okay whatever you want to put it you know, we've been going through a lot of changes in the collective in the past couple of months, especially, you know, coming out from May and May is the number five and it's the, the month of change. So and coming into June, you're going to see things more settled, things being more balanced, things being in harmony. So let's talk about the way number one, how this moon affects you. This new moon in Gemini is in that beautiful sign of Gemini, which is that sign that likes to change, that likes things to be fun and curious and also is a very multi-talented sign so what can you expect with this gemini energy well fun <laughs> changes playfulness right change of scenery i mean hello you know i usually do my videos indoors but i mean for this one i'm gonna bring it outdoors right so tapping into the the parts of you the parts of your personality the part of your life where you you know think is really fixed what you think is never gonna change and i'm telling you expect a major change okay and change this kind of change is not like a tower moment it's not like oh my gosh you know it's not that scary it's more about like it's about time you know it's about time things that come into balance so i'm hearing what comes up must go down basically so if your life has been like bad luck has been like uh, you know you falling apart you're figuring out who you're you are your identity you know all of that things are gonna come into more clarity things are gonna settle down around this time and like i always say new moon is definitely a good time for you to be setting intention right setting that intention so that comes the full moon you can receive the rewards so this is all about setting that intention that you are ready to have settled being in balance and harmony and fruitfulness right by the the full moon so what is it that you're ready to receive in your life what is it that you're ready to have a change a fun twist in your life i love for you to set that intention in your notebook and also you can comment it down below way number two way number two how this moon really affects you is in communication okay so gemini is definitely you know good social butterfly good at communication so this is the time where you want to be social this is the time when you want to focus on your communication style the communication styles of others maybe it's your spouse your partner your you know whatever the people around you and you're like am i vibing with this type of communication style or something's gotta change right the way you communicate to yourself is it cute is it sexy is it flirty or is it kind of like hey you stupid piece of crap right so this is the time where you want to uh, focus on the way that you think the way that you communicate to yourself to others and also how others communicate with you to you and are you really vibing with it you know if your partner has been kind of like getting on your nerves by the way that they you know communicate you know sometimes it happens right when you're in a relationship for a while you just get triggered by everything anyone else who relates right so but the thing here is that you can communicate that to them be like wait you know what i really don't like when you call me 
honey. I don't like when you call me babe. I don't like when you call me X Y Z. Or I just you know don't like the way that you say this, right? Can you maybe say this instead? So this is gonna give you that boost of confidence to start those com uh, communication changes and start those conversations. So with that Gemini energy, it's definitely bring forth like that. Fun and playfulness. So the I I need to talk or we need to talk conversation is no longer sounds so dreadful and scary and dense, and it's actually gonna sound pretty fun and flirty. So I'm excited for you guys to discover your communication style and you know change things around if you're not vibing with something. Way number three, way number three on how this moon affects you is the sign of the twins. Yes, yes, yes. So Gemini is definitely the sign of the twin, the sexy twin. We like it. So the thing here is that we want to be focusing on partnership. We want to be uh, focusing on this idea of being better. Together, okay. So if you're someone who is like a lone wolf, I like to ride solo, baby. It's about to change. What? Why don't you partner up? You know, usually if you're like, you know what, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a solo entrepreneur. I do everything by myself. Who knows? Maybe this is the time where you find an assistant, right? This is the time where you want to invest in someone in your business. Maybe if you're looking for collaborations, right? Like partnering up, right? Expanding your impact, expanding your network, right? If you're someone who is an influencer, if you're someone who wants to share your voice in the world, instead of thinking, how can I do it? What can I do, right? Think about. Who can I partner with, right? Who can I hook arms with, and you know we can share this um, out together. And to be honest, you know I could be thinking, sitting here, like, oh, I'm so self-made. I did everything by myself. But to be honest, it's not. You know, for me to get the success that I have. Um, Achieved and to get to where I am, there's so many people along the way. So I never believed in the whole independence thing. You know, it's not true. And also, independence is so poisonous to our world. We can talk more about it. I have so many downloads, guys, from you know just coming back from Tibet, getting over this situation. My <laughs> my um. I don't want to say illness, but like you know, it, it's been rough. Okay, health-wise, <laughs> it's you know, it was really hard to breathe in Tibet and all of that. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is that you know you're gonna start seeing um, a lot more movement, a lot more momentum, especially with me and my channel, especially with all the downloads that I've received. So same with you, you're gonna start seeing that something's gonna be changing. Gemini is that sign of change, baby. Even if you want things to stay the same, it's gonna change, right? From solo to couple. Or whatever. So also, this is a good time for you to start making friends, making new friends, making new connections, networking, right? It's also a, a good time for love, romance, baby. Whether you're looking for someone special, special, or you're looking for someone who is, you know, flinging, flinging, you know, whatever it, uh, the situation is, definitely gonna bring new people, new fresh energy in your life. I'm definitely feeling this, you know, for me. So I'm excited to see what's coming through for you. Baby, all right. Way number four on how this moon affects you. What do we got? Well, of course, we have to talk about a Gemini being the social butterfly. Okay, so like I said, this is the time where you want to be socializing. Okay, if you're a hermit like myself, <laughs> who likes to hide in the hills of the of Italy right now, that's where I am. You know. Sometimes it's good to get out of the house, okay, people. Okay, I get it. I get it. You know, I'm a double Virgo. My son is in Scorpio, so like I am very hermit, okay. But you know, sometimes I get out of the world, okay. I get out of my little cave and I go socialize and I go, you know, talk to people, meet people, whatever, okay. Sometimes. So this is an encouragement, baby. That you know, if you're ready to just shake things up a little, honey, it's summer. It's fun. It's hot. You know. What 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 does Drake say? Uh, you wear less and go out more. Okay, this is the weather. This is the the season. Okay, so if you need a permission slip to wear less and go out more, <laughs> come on. Okay, just do it. <laughs> just do it. This is gonna be a really fun time to you know. Invite a new connection, new momentum, new energy. You know, new fun in your life because we just came out from that cold, wintry, you know, season. So now is the time to just take it all off, shed the skin, be that butterfly, 
fly. And more importantly, is because, like I said, Gemini is is the sign of communication. It's also the sign of the intellect. So you will be surprised of the people that you meet. You know, and it's gonna be more lighthearted. It's not gonna be like, oh, you know.、Uh, I shouldn't say this when I meet someone at first, or you know, whatever. It, 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 the conversation will just flow, things will just click, and you'll just partner up in whatever way it is,、uh, romantically, friendship, you know, collaboration. It's definitely a good time to go out. Okay, can I just say that like ten million times? <laughs> But it's time for you to get out of the house. Okay, my people, get out of the house. And by the way, if you really enjoy the vibe, make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe. So. We talk about the number five. The fifth way of how this moon affects you is that this moon is about that energy of the Gemini being multifaceted and multi-passionate. Okay, so we're talking a little bit about your、um, career now. Okay, and how you、um, create your impact and contribution in life. You know, sometimes you can think that okay, you know what? I think of myself as an accountant. I think of, my, of myself as a coach. I think of myself as a I don't know sound healer, whatever. Right? Whatever you think of yourself. It's probably not true, okay. And what I mean by that is that it's not entirely true. You are more than that, you know. You you can be an artist and a construction person. You can be a chef or a cook, and you can be a I don't know interior designer. Okay, whatever. Okay. The 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 thing here is that Gemini wants to highlight that you are not one thing. You are not one person. You're not good at one thing. How many of you guys relate? You know, and over the years, I've helped a lot of people stepping into their true purpose, sharing their voice online, host retreats, and really step into what they're meant to do. And one of the questions I get a lot is, I, I want to do this, and I want to do this, and I want to do this. What do I call myself, Tina? <laughs> what do I call myself? Do I call myself a sound healer? Do I call myself like a life coach? What do I call myself? You know, I get that a lot. And what 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 I always say is that you know. Screw the label, you know. Screw the label. Labels are meant to keep you in this ego identity, and it keeps you small. And this Gemini season and this Gemini new moon is for you to break it, break free from the label. You know, once upon a time, I used to this channel used to be a tarot reading channel. We used to talk more about, you know, a lot of just different things. And then at some point in my life, I'm just like. You know what? I don't want to be known for one thing. I don't want to be put in a box. And the reason why I went away from tarot and all of that and start speaking more about, you know, whatever I want to speak about, what I'm called to speak about, is because I just feel that I'm not meant to hide behind the cards. I'm not he- m- meant to hide behind this psychic、um, label. You know, a lot of you guys may have known me from years ago, and you know, I don't go around advertising that I am psychic. You know, but I am, baby. You know, but I don't go around, you know, saying that I'm a coach, I'm a mentor, I'm a this, I'm a, you know, I, I'm so many things. You know, I help people in so many different ways. I help people with their YouTube channel, with their social media following. I help people put their retreats together. I help people write their books. I help people through their spiritual awakening. I help people through their healing. I help people through, you know, developing their psychic gifts. I help people through like just a lot of stuff. You know, and maybe it doesn't sound like a logical thing to. Not have a label,、um, or not be clear about things. But you know, with my experience, I'm doing just fine. My people find me. My people feel me. So if you're looking for that, maybe permission slip to just be who you are and just say screw the labels. And I don't really know what to call myself. You know, just it's okay. You know, we're not living in this matrixy world to, you know, hi, my name is one thing. Like you're not. You know, you can be. Anything and everything you can change. Okay, if you like, this is the main thing. You are allowed to change. You know, for my journey, it being in the public eyes, I've changed so many times. You know, I've changed the way I do things, the content I post, who I am. You know, some of you guys watch me evolve. And the thing is, the people who get you get you. The people who love you and they love you. And the people who want to grow and change and you know evolve with you, they will be there. So this is why this new moon in Gemini is for you to embrace what is meant to change, what is meant to evolve, what is meant to 
you know, break free in your life? Are you sick of calling yourself a nurse? Are you sick of calling yourself a housewife? Are you sick of calling yourself a coach? You know, whatever it might be, break out of that label and see how it feels. And you know, once upon a time, I'll tell you the story that. You know, I used to be vegan for many, many years in my life until I honestly felt like it is not. You know, it doesn't resonate with me. But I felt so much guilt to break out of that vegan label because I felt like I'm like the most terrible person on earth. <laughs> you know, to like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You know, my identity being vegan is like. Six, five, six years. You know, what am I gonna do? And I think of myself this blood thirst, whatever person. You know, but the thing is, me breaking out of that vegan label really set me free. You know, it allowed me to tap into my intuition, release the guilt and shame, and allowing me to feel into what. I need to eat for my body, you know, and I feel like your body always knows. I mean, this is another topic, but I why I want to share this with you is because labels really constricts you, you know. And honestly, I, when I was in Tibet, and I I'll make a separate video about my Tibet experience and also the downloads that I have received for you is huge. Okay, maybe I'll put together an event, but you know, I was really sick. You know, it was really high at a Altitude, couldn't breathe. I was really sick, and I'm the kind of person who's like, I don't take the medicine. You know, I'm good with my ginger and my herbal stuff. But honestly, thank God for medicine. You know, thank God for medicine because I feel like I wouldn't be alive. <laughs> you know, without it. And you know, I had to outgrow. I had to release that identity of I don't take Western medicine. You know, for me to. Really appreciate that that was an option. So this is the time. This this new moon is about you breaking free, having fun, socializing, and doing things a new way. Let me know what you think down below. What's coming through for you? Like this video if you got something. By the way, and of course, guys, I'll be making a video, a meditation, um, on how you can manifest with this moon. So make sure you check it out. Subscribe if you got something, and I'm excited to see you soon.